luxury of having both the boys sleep at the same time. You might hear our oxygen in the corner. There's really not many places in the house that you really can't hear it except for downstairs and I feel like I always record down there. Last I spoke with you guys and it was the week before, a week or two before Denver got his NG2. So we've been home on that and it's been a blessing. It's, I mean, it has, has its ups and downs. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. I thought it is kind of finicky. Like if I have to watch it all the time or else um, we'll be getting fed because it's gravity fed. Here in Canada, that is the gold standard of being sent home with like gravity feeds. But it can be quite difficult when your son just does not want to eat and that's kind of the majority of the ways you're feeding him is through a pouch and it has to be a certain height above him and there's only certain places in the house we've like hooks everywhere to try to make it work. We're just lucky that he isn't crawling or doing too too much because I can see that being a nightmare. Yeah, so we got admitted for the NG tube. We got a little bit of an update on his heart and lungs. So they are getting progressively worse, which is, I mean, it's expected. So. So it sounds like surgery might be a bit sooner. We'll see, we have another appointment on March 21st. So every month we kind of just do a checkup, check how his heart is doing, how it's, it's called leaky, like how leaky his valves are. And with Denver, unfortunately all his valves are leaking, which is not that common for his condition. Usually it's just two, one even, but all, unfortunately Denver has all leaky valves, which sucks. And his uh, dilation of his aortic root is grown a centimeter, 1.2 centimeters in six months of life, which is very big. <laughs> There's, so it's about, I think they kind of describe it as as big as a grown man's uh, heart valve in a little baby body, which causes, I'm not the best at explaining this, I believe blood to kind of go into different chambers of the heart and it can cause a whole bunch of issues. So that's kind of what he's up against. I think we're gonna have surgery probably like summer, fall, kind of seems like. Along with that, his diaphragm seems to be getting worse. His work of breathing is getting worse. We are supposed to be doing this, I think it's called like an oximeter test. So we go to the hospital, pick up this box, hook it up to him while he's sleeping and it tells respirologist how often he's dipping in oxygen at night but I don't really know what's going to come through that some kids can get weaned off oxygen some progress to the trach so I'm hoping we don't get there but you know these type of tests will help tell our doctors how to care for Denver so you know we are just open to do anything and everything for him so with the NG2 Kind of why I wanted to hop on here and talk and kind of explain some of the other clips that I took. We went to the zoo and I'll insert some clips here of the zoo. And during the zoo was our first time ever NG feeding him while we were out. <laughs> so I'm also going to insert some clips about that.
normally doesn't eat on the go. He does. He likes to eat very like idyllic <laughs> ways. But I mentioned before, he likes to be in a dark room, sound machine. Like he's very particular. Um, and of course, on this day, he didn't want to bottle feed, which we still can bottle feed him, but he just doesn't eat that much. He just has no appetite. So yeah, of course he didn't eat, had the opportunity to end his feed him, and it honestly made our life a lot easier, not for him, because he doesn't eat. And yeah, so it was a little difficult, there was people staring, I mean, it's, I've never seen anyone and she eating their baby or anything before, so it's not common, I would say, at least not where we live, I've never seen it before. So we fed him, and that was a big weight lifted off of our shoulders because he just doesn't eat, and he finally has hit 13 pounds at 7 months old. So I'm hoping that he catches up because he really does need to get stronger for surgery if it's coming soon, or else, you know, it's just not good, it's just not good for him. It's not good for his heart to be so skinny, there's so many issues, so I'm really glad that they finally were pushing the NG tube on us because we've been wanting it for a while. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the clips from the zoo, kind of me rambling, a little bit of a Denver update, NG feeding and such. I will probably do a video of at home NG feeding because I know that there's a lot of mamas out there that do NG feed their baby. And it's nice to relate. And I have no idea what I'm doing, so maybe I can get some help with maybe I'm doing some wrong, maybe there's something I can do easier for NG feeding. Guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go get Denver and Draven up because they are going to sleep the rest of the day away if I do not.